I'm doing a tour of all media places to promote uh, my appearance on Penn and Teller Foolis. I've been in Comedy Magic about full time five years. Okay. Uh, ever since I was like really young, I think every kid like loves magic. Um, some take it more seriously, clearly. Uh, others not so much, but uh, around 12, 13, 14, it got a lot more serious. I love the humor and the comedy and just the natural just comedy that comes from bringing people up on stage. So I, I love this, the humor and comedy aspect of it. Magic is there too, obviously, but nothing's better just being able to make someone laugh and smile. So that's why for most of my tricks and in my show, I use like one to five people up on stage. Sometimes like the whole, the whole audience you know, is involved on things. Because uh, to me, that's just where the humor and the naturalness comes from you know, you get that interaction, that fun that you can't get from like a TV. Yeah. To be able to go to Vegas and be on the same stage as my childhood heroes and perform for them, it was crazy. Like it was just like the coolest thing in the world. I, I just love when people come up and be like, I haven't like laughed that much in a while. Do me a favor, take out a card, sign your name on there really, really big on this part of the card. This part, okay. Yeah. David's card, seven hearts, nice, big and bold. I need you to do me a really weird favor. You take your card, seven hearts with your, your name on it, I need you to hold it in your teeth. No one's ever taken it from my hands before. <laughs> that was a little strange. <laughs> Sign my name on the King of Diamonds. Oh boy, that was, did not expect that. I need you to do me a favor and do as I do. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> this is so weird, right? Huh? Huh? Wiggle. Vavir. Mice. Bop. Bow. Don't move, because if this worked. What? Wow, I don't understand. Five <laughs> <laughs> years? You better, or else it's a really bad trick. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, you're gonna help me out. We have the envelope that will be of importance in a bit. We're gonna leave that right there. Uh, give me a number between one and nine. Seven. Give me another number between one and nine. Five. You wanna do 75 or 57? 57. You sure? Yes. Positive. Positive. Like 110 percent. 57 is my number. Is it really? Yes. I feel like it's not. It's it is today. It is today. Yes. Okay. Because if you change, this whole outcome will be different. Okay. I'm gonna remember 57. 57. That's my okay. If you go to celebrities. Celebrities. You can see there's a list of like 100 different famous people. So if you uh -huh. scroll through, it's just all different people. None of them repeat. Uh, go to the 57th celebrity. Who do we have? Steven Tyler. Go to uh, groceries and foods. Groceries and foods. Yeah, and then go to the 56 or uh, 57 food items. So that was popcorn. Popcorn. But if you would have said 57 uh, per se or 75, it would have been mustard. Uh huh. And it would have had a different celebrity too. So this whole outcome would have been different. But you yes. got Steven Tyler and popcorn. And popcorn. Uh, here we go. That's Steven Tyler eating popcorn. I don't know how that happened. How did that happen? <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> and if you knew how, I wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm comedy magician Denny Corby, and catch me on the season finale of Penn & Teller Fool Us, Monday, September 30th on The CW.